being a champion means something different to every person, to every member of the team and everyone who loves the sport. It's a combination of every person and their beliefs that create success. My name is Jens Fredriksson and I'm a Swedish jumping athlete. Horses and riding is a part of our family. And my riding journey starts very early. Uh, my father was a passionate rider, maybe on, not on the highest level, he's a veterinarian. And me and my brother, we got our ponies when we were young, very young and rode a lot in the woods and had fun. It's a lifestyle. The horses is a part of my life. And for me, uh, working with horses makes me feel very calm and, and happy. Having a good bond with your horse is so important if you want to have success. Mark and Cosmopolite, I started to ride him uh, when he was five years old. He has a great personality. He's a very kind horse. Trust him 100%, but he also are sharp. And then he has a super scope and uh, uh, he's a top show jumper. To manage uh, the, the horse in the best way is to be very natural. The horse needs to go in the paddock, he needs good food. Uh, you, you need uh, that everything, these basic things are there. Horses love to exercise, they love to move. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to ride him a lot uh, or have him out a lot, that's important. And then I, my, my wife is a veterinarian and a chiropractic, so I'm a very lucky man to have that in-house. So if I feel something is a little bit uh, different, I always tell her, can you have a look? And she says, okay, it's okay, we can do that, we can do this. Maybe you should train a little bit less for a while. Uh, and then uh, you have this with shoes or no shoes. In the winter, I didn't have any shoes. I, I rode them barefoot in uh, uh, the World Cup Finals. Now I have shoes on because we do the grass shows. And you have always to, to uh, work with the horse. It's not just look at him. You have to touch the horse. You have to feel the horse. You know, you have to feel, is the leg cold or warm? Or is it swollen or is it dry? How is the hoof? Do you have a pulsation? Is it cold? You have, to, you have to feel the horse. You have to touch the horse. You have to look in the eyes of the horse. And that's the way how, how you can keep the horse uh, fit for a long time. You have to be one step before. I try to do as I always do. Like I don't do big, big difference. For me, it's important not to be uh, stressed or, or uh, I need to sleep and I have to be like, feel, feel sharp. That's important to me. Uh, so take away everything uh, you know, that makes stress and then train the horse uh, like I always do. It's a big passion for me. It makes uh, me feel alive. Uh, that's a, absolutely the most uh, fun thing I can do is, is jumping. I think being a champion is trusting the quality in your horse, in yourself and in your team. Don't, don't uh, try to do something extra. Just trust the quality and keep calm. And uh, a championship is over many days. It's, it's important to be there and, and focus the whole week. Tomorrow is a new game, it's a new course, it's, it's, it's new challenges. So always, even if it goes well, even if you're winning the uh, medal at the teams, you have still the individuals to do. So always think of, of like you are in the progress. When I'm uh, there, I, I, try to, I try to sleep a lot. I try to eat good. I try to relax. Maybe one hour before I start to motivate myself a little bit and, and uh, listen to like Metallica to get uh, get in the mood and uh, and get strong enough to go in there and do my good job.